So it's glad to be here and uh, every year we have a chance to talk uh, and uh, uh, it's good morning and good uh, afternoon everywhere. I'm Bill from Huawei. I'm it's really honored to have this chance to talk with all of you about uh, the uh, topic of, of open collaboration and proactive promotion of uh, the maturity of autonomous network industry. Um, okay, so. So as we all say, the COVID-19, the pandemic, it's still accelerates the digital transformation. So uh, according to the survey from the Harvard Business Review, the 95% of the executives believe the digital transformation strategy in, the, uh, in their own industry becomes more important than ever before. Uh, so in addition, the survey shows that the 20% of the increase in ICT investment will lead to at least 1% increase in GDP. So by last year, more than 170 countries uh, already have developed that digital strategy. So under the background of the, this uh, uh, global digitalization, the leading carriers in China, such as China Mobile, China Telecom, and Europe, and uh, Asia Pacific, and Africa, such so all uh, like uh, Telefonica, Vodafone, NTT, all have released their digital transformation strategy, just as Dr. Fong also mentioned this. So, uh, but uh, how this uh, digital development de depends on the digital technology and the uh, how to do this continuous innovation, we also committed to, to do this digital uh, development through the innovation. Uh, as mentioned here, the ubiquitous cloud service, the per perversive AI, the autonomous network is the key, and also as well as the low carbon um, development benefit from these digital technologies. Okay, but uh, uh, Huawei's target, looking forward to the intelligent network uh, 2030, uh, the autonomous network as a core, tech strategy for our communication network. So our long-term vision is to build this, uh, we call it a self-configuration, self-healing, self-optimization autonomous network with this uh, connectivity and AI technology. At the same time, about 70% of the global carriers hope the autonomous network can reach to level three by uh, 2024. And the 94 percentage of the carriers have implemented or plan to, to implement automation. Uh, and more and more carriers we believe in, will embrace this autonomous network as their optimum choice in digital transformation. So let's see how this uh, uh, convenience uh, would bring to, to, to our end user. So according to the latest web paper from the TMF forum, the autonomous network uh, will promote the, we call it a self configuration, self uh, healing, self optimization, and uh, as well as this zero weight, zero trouble, zero touch uh, experience, and can develop uh, all through the carriers planning, construct construction, maintenance, optimization, and operation uh, life cycle requirement. But with the uh, fast development of core technologies such as uh, just now we talk about SDN, open API, and big data, and all the develops of um, cloud native technologies, uh, all can enable the autonomous network uh, which are very, very basically prepared and required. But however, uh, due to the complexity of the networking, such as a large number of uh, uh, elements, lots of uh, parameters and the lack of consistency, and uh, the network environment has a legacy and the complexity, and also many legacy challenges such as the, the uh, time-consuming evolution and unable to build uh, 
everything from scratch. So all the things uh, uh, is mixed together and a cross domain and cross carrier challenge as well. So basically we think there are three top challenges from architecture point of view, from the standards and the uh, evolution KPI point of view, and also the cross standard collaboration is, uh, is also a very critical. So let's see how can we deal with these three challenges, three pillars to do the collaboration for accelerate the ap application for autonomous network in our industry. Okay, so first, the we believe the to build a unified target network architecture is a is a key. Second, we need to define the autonomous network uh, uh, generation by generation and the levels standards, which give us a unified evaluation KPI to, to share the common framework and common understanding and common uh, and architecture. And finally, the standard developers organizations, the, the de facto standard and the, the the standard collaboration also is important. So according to the target architecture defined by the TMF, the typical feature of the autonomous network is a, uh, you can have at least the two layers, the, uh, is a single domain autonomy and the cross domain collaboration. So the uh, intelligent is layered, okay. The intent-oriented resource machine machine interface is promoted under the resource management layer. And the intent-oriented service uh, uh, interface and the human uh, machine interface that implement the intent interface are prominent on the, uh, we call it a, a CFS, consumer facing service layer interface. In addition to the net, autonomous network have made great progress compared with the legacy the network in terms of the closed loop mode and the behavior. For example, the autonomous network will implement closed loop management, uh, supervision and aud audit. The autonomous network are integrated with the network AI capability and have a certain cognitive capabilities which can implement human uh, intentions. So second, we think the autonomous network, uh, how to define the levels criteria and evaluation methodology is also important. We define the evaluation object from three dimensions, such as uh, uh, O and M, operating and maintenance domain. There are uh, six types of service. And uh, uh, from uh, service, Type and the network domain, all three dimensions, which uh, uh, have different uh, uh, levels. In addition, the, the industry should also pay attention to the establish and the promotion the evolution KPI to define the uh, uh, what's the real level of uh, uh, autonomous driving network. So, as a set of evolution systems that covers planning. Uh, construction, maintenance, opt optimization, operation, and the resource management from day to day, uh, day, day zero to day, day, day one, day two operating life cycle. And uh, the third point, as we mentioned before, is a collaboration for cross standard organization. Uh, it's, it's quite important. Uh, so basically, we think the there are nine standards organization is working on the uh, autonomous uh, network domain and the uh, such as the and also in the open source many open source projects are also in interaction with the standards <coughs> to focus on the value creation for autonomous network and to promote the large scale develop deployment to the autonomous network and as well as many partners also participate in this collaboration. So as, as we see from Huawei's uh, uh, point, we also provide one uh, implementation of the autonomous network. We call it uh, uh, 
uh, Huawei's uh, autonomous driving network architecture. And uh, it's from the management and the control and the service operation, the network device and the infra infrastructure layer are management by the ADN solution and from an uh, integrated part of it. The native intelligence and the fault detection and, and prediction and other capabilities of network elements are very critical and basic for the ADN solution. The ADN's intelligence and the powerful digital infrastructure is provided by enhanced network element AI capability and various uh, different advanced features, including the uh, real-time energy efficiency optimization, uh, such as for wireless uh, product, optical product, and uh, access broadband uh, solutions. In addition to the native intelligence of the network element and the uh, in the control layer, such as uh, I master, we call it I master NAIE, I master MAE, and I master NCE. All these layer solutions are in the service operation layer, which is include the uh, autom automation and the intelligence, such as we call it uh, outing, uh, smart care, and ADO uh, solutions also integrated with the AI capability in the business layer. So this is a three layers of the solution. And uh, finally, as, uh, as we say, the uh, solution cannot be, be done by only one window, one, uh, one carrier. So in addition to the uh, ADN solution, the products provided from uh, Huawei, Huawei also uh, hope to strengthen the collaboration with the industry uh, partners to provide this uh, fertile soil to promote the industry maturity and share this digital transformation uh, opportunities based on this open collaboration. So we need to increase uh, to promote the open source particip participation and contribute to the autonomous network use case, such as uh, the intent driven networking the 5G network slicing, cross-domain and cross-layer VPN, CNF, orchestration, and the policy and the control loops in the open source community. So the digital transformation that enables thousands of industry requires a joint effort for all the industry members to promote the collaboration with the business ecosystem, open source ecosystem, and developer ecosystem. So we believe we do need to work together to promote the maturity of the autonomous network industry and share this uh, uh, great vision and opportunity and the common understanding during the, this digital transformation journey. Okay, that's all from my side, and uh, I'm glad to talk with, uh, uh, discuss with all other participations here. Thank you. <clears throat> Very nice. Thank you. Uh... Thank you, Bill. And if you can stop sharing, then we can get on exactly. Thank you. Very good. Uh, for the attendees, if there are questions, please put them in the Q&A box and we will be able to answer them. Uh, the one question I had as questions come in is you showed the um, nice slides in two instances where you have standards organizations, you have open source organizations, um, uh, and then you have your ecosystem partners coming together yeah. and working together. Um, I think uh, th that, that, that is fundamentally very positive for Linux Foundation, and we, we appreciate that support from, from you uh, across multiple projects, obviously. Um, what, what do you see as... Um, uh, an opportunity for the open source and the standards body, like you know, NHC or TMF, MEF, uh, GSMA, to move even faster. You know, they are already working very closely with us. 
and I know you have been sort of chairing some of the uh, standards organization uh, work uh, to enable us. How do you see those, uh, you know, any ideas on, on, on how we can move even faster with the standard bodies? Yeah, so I think uh, it's always uh, in quite a while before we we debating whether we need uh, uh, any uh, standards or open source, but uh, we, we do find now it's still uh, uh, have to co existing together and uh, because uh, in telco industry, the standards body do play an important role uh, and uh, uh, because we we have this uh, kind of um, uh, what we call it uh, uh, vendor consumer business model, so we do need a cross uh, uh, into working with with different uh, uh, we call it uh, cross domain, cross uh, technology, cross vendor uh, solutions. So um, all the standards body do realize they, are, uh, they need a more uh, fast uh, iteration and uh, uh, to, to meet the, uh, uh, how to say, the innovations and speed. But uh, why we talk so many times, but still didn't find uh, the quite uh, much progress, we think uh, uh, it's still, uh, how to say, um, we need a more uh, use case driven or, 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 or uh, scenario based uh, uh, release to, to promote our open source uh, implementation and uh, uh, and the strength to, to, to do this, uh, uh, how to say, to benefit to the uh, industry. Yeah, and uh, no. everyone realizes the value of open source, but uh, many of them still stand outside of the uh, community. They didn't uh, deep dive into the community. So yes. we, uh, we, I think we do need to put hands on, on the community and uh, to, to, to speed up the things together. Okay. Very, very well said, right? I mean, doing it, we call it duocracy here at the Linux Foundation. So if you do it, you will learn, you will benefit, you will gain, and you will contribute, right? And and sure. and and yes. so that's that's great. Um, I think we are almost at at time. I know we have a couple of more questions, but uh, let me wrap up here just to keep keep us on schedule. Thank you, Bill, for uh, for the keynote, and we really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.